Hi, I'm Dr. Mike, and welcome to Ask the Doctor. Today, we're going to talk about a pandemic. No, not that one. There's another pandemic on the loose, but it's silent. In fact, you might be affected right now and not even know it. This silent pandemic is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD. About a third of Americans have NAFLD, and it's a progressive disease. This means that over time, the silent pandemic of NAFLD is on course to become very vocal and deadly, unless we take action now. But first, remember to hit the subscribe button, click thumbs up, and ring the bell to be notified when we post a new video. Now let's get started. In our last video, we covered dietary and lifestyle changes that may help stop and even reverse NAFLD. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out by clicking the link in the description. In this video, we're going to take a deeper dive into some of the mechanisms that drive NAFL progression to its more harmful form, NASH. We're also going to see what the science says about whether specific nutrients might help target some of these mechanisms, offering a secondary line of defense in our battle against NAFLD and NASH. In general, NAFLD develops when you consume too much sugar and a generally unhealthy diet for a long period of time. This impairs the body's ability to process sugars and fats properly. This metabolic state called insulin resistance causes fat to build up in liver cells. This process is called steatosis. Metabolic dysfunction also triggers inflammation, which further contributes to liver cell injury. Studies have shown that specific nutrients may target the fat accumulation and metabolic problems that lead to the early stages of NAFLD. For instance, one randomized controlled trial that included 78 participants with metabolic syndrome and NAFLD found 90 days of treatment with 250 milligrams of silymarin, a major component of milk thistle, plus 60 international units of vitamin E daily, along with a diet and exercise program, reduced waist circumference, BMI, liver size, and scores on non-invasive measures of NAFLD compared with diet and exercise alone. Another trial showed similar results. Silymarin plus vitamin E reduced liver enzymes and improved NAFLD measurements. In addition, clinical trials in people with NAFLD and NASH found that N-acetylcysteine reduced liver enzymes, fat accumulation, and swelling of liver cells. Next, let's take a look at the progression to the later stages of fatty liver disease. If left unchecked, fat accumulation and metabolic dysfunction drive inflammation and liver fibrosis over time. Targeting these inflammatory and fibrotic changes may represent another important consideration for those with fatty liver. The good news is that nutrients may help with this as well. More specifically, probiotics. For example, a clinical trial randomized 52 individuals with NAFLD to either a placebo or a symbiotic probiotic twice daily for 28 weeks. The symbiotic comprised 200 million colony-forming units of a combination of seven bacteria from Lactobacillus, Bifidobacterium, and Streptococcus, as well as 125 milligrams of fructooligosaccharide, a prebiotic. Both the placebo and symbiotic groups were advised to eat a balanced diet and engage in regular physical activity. At the end of the trial, participants in the symbiotic group exhibited greater reductions in liver enzymes, inflammatory markers, and ultrasound measured fibrosis than those who had taken the placebo. A meta-analysis of nine randomized controlled trials with a combined total of 352 subjects with NAFLD found probiotic therapy reduced liver enzymes. So if you'd like to dive into a more detailed overview of NAFLD and strategies to reverse the course of the disease, refer to Life Extension's non-alcoholic fatty liver disease protocol. Now don't forget, hit subscribe, click thumbs up, and ring the bell so you never miss a video. I'm Dr. Mike. Thanks for watching.